Hello, it's Stephanie with Coffee Paper Scissors and it's Pocket Wednesday. I have things pretty much prepared for us to just put down. So what we're doing today is a triple envelope pocket situation. I made, um, so I have the envelope punch and I just chose one that would fit on the page stacked three times. Uh, the one I chose, you know, this is a standard journal size. So I chose the one that was for a three and a half by four and a half inch card, which ends up making the envelope about four and three quarters by three and three quarters. Okay, so that's the one I chose. If you don't have an envelope punch, you can always just make a, let's see, you can always just make one of those pockets that you just, I mean envelopes, that you just fold up the top and fold over the bottom and cut your envelope, you know, like just say this is one long piece of paper, just fold up the bottom, fold down the top, cut this. You don't have to have an envelope punch board. Okay, so. Um, so when you use the envelope punch board, it ends up with a, a pointy part that I don't particularly like, so I always fold it down. I've inked these, so they're pretty much ready to go. And so we're just going to go ahead and glue. And, um, and then get it glued down. So I think I will call this, and it's, you know, not my idea. I've seen it done before. Um, it's just nice to have a reference, you know, to go to when you're looking for an idea. Um, but I was thinking triple envelope pocket, something like that, or stacked envelope pockets. Okay, and then this one. You could also cut this if you didn't want to deal with gluing it down. And then I chose just the, you know, kind of grungy look so that it wasn't too busy. Um, I felt like, you know, different colors might be pretty crazy. And then the page that we're putting it on is just a, a coffee dyed page. And so then I was thinking, you know, to alternate one that's a little lighter, one that's a little darker that sort of thing. So we need to put the top one on first, okay? So you wanna get an idea of where you want it. This one, you know, is fairly easy. I'm starting just a little ways down because I'm gluing it in as though it's a pocket, you know, as well. And um, it'll be easier to put something in if it's not glued all the way up to the top, you know, just, just for ease is all. And this was just scrapbook paper. I inked the inside where it gets opened here. Okay, and then I'm just gonna stack them up again to get another idea. Let me see where I am in the camera. Okay. So we want this to be able to tuck underneath. Okay. So that is going to determine partially 
where you're going to glue it. Otherwise, if it's too low, it's just not gonna hold very well. So we want a good overlap. And then for them also to be fairly even, you know, you don't wanna have one tucked real far in and the other one not tucked very much, if that makes sense. Okay, so what I am going to do is make a line so I know right where I want it. And again, we're going to glue around the edge. And then do our best to line it up. Now, you don't have to make it so that it's a pocket for, you know, something tall. I'm putting something tall in it, but you could do something where, let's say it was maybe the size of an index card and it just has a tab sticking out. I think that would look really cool. Um, but the cards that I chose um, are taller. Okay, so these are all images from Graphics Fairy, free, you know, free. You just have to search for things. And I just inked around it. So um, these are gonna go in here. So like um, I say, um, if it were to fit just the right size, you know, down in here, it could be down in there with a the little tab sticking out. I think that would look pretty cool. But as is, we're going to just put these in. So there's a little something to write on in each of the envelopes and then just tucks right under. And then I have these ladies. These are graphics fairy. Aren't they pretty? So they go down, you know, I figured since I have a lady over here, I could do some more ladies. And then this one just kind of fits down then, but sticks out a little bit, which I like. You know, it could be less sticky outy, just depend on depending on what you have. And then for the bottom here, I have just a sticker. It's like a see-through sticker um, that's a postcard, and I just put it down on some scrapbook paper, and we're gonna put that down here in the form of a pocket. Of course, you could put something down in the pocket, you know, a little cute little tag or something like that would be really cute down in there. I'm hoping I didn't get glue too high up. I'm just going to kind of wipe a little bit of that glue off. I don't want it so high up that it's hard to get the tip of the envelope in. Okay, so that tucks down in there. This opens for journaling if you're interested. And then I have just one more little butterfly that I thought I would stick off, you know, kind of just on the side. I'm gonna hop through that down. This is a shiny sticker, so I don't know how well this is gonna work. But we'll see. So again, that opens for journaling. And I inked it so that it just kind of blends. Okay, so there we have it today. Um, so we have three pockets and we have three envelopes. So lots of ephemera can go on, you know, one page. And we, I think I'll do a three envelope pocket page. Three envelope pocket page, maybe. Okay, thanks for watching you guys. Have a, a great day. Bye.